Top story this half hour, Governor Raimondo will give her weekly coronavirus update at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And she is expected to discuss Thanksgiving and, of course, that statewide pause, that two-week pause, which is now less than a week away. Kate Walsh has a preview based on what the governor told 12 News in a sit-down interview earlier this week. Well, it's the day before Thanksgiving, so yes, you can expect the governor and the Department of Health to remind people and make that final plea for following guidelines that they've put out for how to safely celebrate Thanksgiving. And they said this year that's to limit it to the number of people who live with you, and those should be the only people at your dinner table. And in her weekly sit-down interview with my colleague Kim Kalunian on Tuesday, the governor said we saw the most single-day hospitalizations based on a residual effect from people not following guidelines on Halloween and instead having parties indoors. She said two field hospitals will be ready to accept patients next week and that we could slow the spike during the two week pause, which starts on Monday. I'm hopeful for the pause. I really hope Rhode Islanders take it seriously. I'm hopeful people are going to follow the rules for Thanksgiving. It's just getting real now. We're going to be pretty soon at a point where we're all going to know somebody in the hospital, and then it's going to get, get real for people. So the governor will not be making any new announcements about more restrictions at her briefing this afternoon because the ones she announced last week don't go into effect until next Monday, November 30th. But the governor will be today announcing some significant funding for these businesses that will be impacted by the pause. And we'll talk more about that in the next half hour. Live in Providence this morning, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. Here, five days out from Rhode Island's two-week pause, we've already heard from so many small businesses about how the two-week closure will impact their bottom line. Governor Raimondo expected to talk about that in her weekly briefing today at 1 o'clock. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh joins us live with more on what might be discussed. Well, this two-week pause that doesn't go into effect until next Monday was announced last week to give time to these businesses that will be impacted by the pause the most. Those are local gyms, restaurants to a certain degree, bars that will be shut down, and indoor recreational facilities like indoor pools. So today, the governor said despite criticism, she closed gyms based on CDC guidelines showing that people don't just work out in one spot but are moving around in Side. She said that in her briefing today, she will be announcing a significant amount of money from the CARES Act to help these already struggling businesses. I will say I know some people have been critical that I've held back some of the CARES Act. I'm so happy I did because now we're racking up the bills. F field hospitals are very expensive. Getting ready for the vaccine, very expensive putting money out the door starting tomorrow to businesses. Now we've heard from some of these businesses and how they're wary that this will really only be a two week pause and the governor talked about that saying that she will be looking at Google mobility data and that's been a pretty good accurate uh, indicator of when we see spikes in cases here in Rhode Island. She said if it looks like the trend isn't going downward like she'd like to see during this pause, she will be extending the pause for more time and possibly adding more restrictions. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Wall. 12 News.